So you want to play Absolver? Yes, Sensei. If you haven't had the chance to play Absolver and you're into martial arts, this is pretty much a must buy. Especially considering it goes on sale very often for only 5 V-Bucks. And if you are still not convinced, I asked some Absolver veterans for what they like about the game. And this is what they said. I think this is a great game where true skill expression comes from like making very snappy decisions and probably one of the nicest visuals of any fighting games because most fighting games have like certain styles and Absolver is completely outside of, of that box. I think that Absolver does something really interesting that other games that are like combat focused don't do, which is the two button input system. It's like super simple, like it, it's two buttons you press, right, your sequence and your alternative and I feel like it was like really easy to pick up when I was first learning. Combat mechanics just feel great, there's a nice flow in the game and it's it's kind of unique, so it's an, it's an experience. It's an accessible fighting game. If you ever wanted to play like fighting games, it's essentially the fighting game for people who don't play fighting games. You don't have to learn complex combos. You don't have to learn a bunch of block strings. You mostly just build a deck and start pressing one of two buttons, which I think is, is really, really great. And I think it's what makes Absolver like super approachable. Like you get to do something that no other game really lets you do. And that's completely customize your fighter to the point where like they are I guess an extension or another version of yourself that knows kung fu, right? So you can make like kick decks and punches and... Like, I would play more fighting games if I got to choose my player's moveset. Just being able to like make your deck how you want it and then like fight people. It's just that simple, right? You make your deck, you put it together, you're like, you know, doing a bunch of heavy punches in your deck or whatever, and you just get to try out a bunch of new things. Every single day you can try something new in that game, and that's really cool. For the, the longest time, I would actually, like, fall asleep thinking of decks to build, or I would just be out and about at work or something thinking like, oh my god, I think I've done it, I've created the perfect mix-up, I need to go home and test it. Um, so I think like the uh, the player expressiveness in being able to build your own deck, I think that's one of my favorite aspects of it. There's not really any other game like it. Big shout outs to the Absolver community. I love every one of them. The community as well, like they're so nice. They're so inviting. They're so like helpful as well. Find a community and join it. Join the discords, make some friends. Everybody here is just really, really friendly. It's a really, really good community focused, beautifully animated, uh, martial arts game so if you're into like action movies and you want to be an action hero that this is like one way i think you can get as close as you can to that you're much better off like going out of your way to look for people to play with rather than to like just jump into cts like absolver gave me a lot more than any other, other game like community wise just try and engage with the community honestly i think is like the best course of action when it comes to uh, starting this game out, like if you want to get serious about the game, or not serious, but you know, get much more out of the game. Just know that there are a heft of resources on the subreddit and in discords if you want to get good at the game or if you want to uh, figure out how to do anything specific in it. If you get the game, just find a community. Not to mention the fact that this game's a lot more fun with friends. Don't expect any PVE out of it. You, for the most part, are gonna be playing like PVP in CTs because the actual like game's content it's not much right like there's only a little bit of PVE and then there's downfall just fighting people randomly like literally it was my de-stressor I would just hop on ball over whenever I got home and I would just run through open world beating up NPCs and I started fighting people online and it was just a completely different experience you know fighting a actual person aside from an NPC it was a lot harder and I realized that I really didn't know at all what I was doing. And I didn't until I eventually befriended somebody on Steam and they were talking to me and it was uh, Sir Alter. And then he invited me to, uh, to his Discord and then I was training with all the EU guys because they were there, they were giving me pointers, tips, things I needed to change, like stuff like that. Don't get too frustrated if you lose at first. It's still a fighting game because a good player will just blow you up. And don't get discouraged. We all had to go through that um, scenario to get to the top. But it's fun to get blown up sometimes, you know? Sometimes you can enjoy a good L, but you can work your way up towards getting the wins. 
even against the best people. Like if I see a new player, I want, ideally for that new player, I want that new player to beat my ass in like six weeks. Like I want them to fucking destroy me. Like just, they, I want them to 10 owe me. Watch my tutorial video so you're not lost in CTs. Buy the game so Slow Club gets more money and uh, so they can just repair the game without losing. Play Absolver. Just play it. Just play Absolver. It's fine. Just fucking play it. But yeah, uh, definitely try the game out and uh, most of all, if you do, have fun.